What's up YouTube? This is Barnon11970. Thank you as always for watching my video and I hope you guys are enjoying your night. Alright, I want to talk about this because this is really important to me because I'm seeing a lot of people talking about impeaching the president. Um, although that's a great idea, it's not going to change anything and I'm going to explain why. And the first thing I want to say is, I do not care for Obama. I did when he first got into office back in 2008 before I knew what was really going on in the world and who really controls it. I really thought that having an African American president really showed that this country is moving in a really good direction. He sounded like he knew what he was talking about. He was talking about change and I fell for it like many people did. But like they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And I'm just going to state for the record, I am not racist. I have no problem with anybody's religion, anybody's color, anybody's creed, anybody's sexual preference, as long as they keep it to themselves. Like, for example, um, with, with whatever. As long as they don't infringe on the rights of someone else, more power to anybody. So I want to make that perfectly clear. So I don't care if the president is black, white red, yellow, green, whatever. His color matters not to me. I can't speak for anybody else, but I will speak for myself. So anybody out there that would say, oh, well, if you don't like Obama, that means you're a racist. That is utterly ridiculous and a cop-out and a way to try and make people silent. And I think that Obama is just as bad as George Bush and just as bad as every other president since John F. Kennedy, who, last time I checked, was the first president that actually tried to accomplish something by trying to get rid of the uh, Federal Reserve and created Executive Order 11110, which was going to basically have us create our own money again like we used to, and he got executed for that. So, I understand that people get angry. They should, but you should get angry at the right place and not just one person in a corrupt system it is not the president who creates all of this stuff it is not the president who just decides to make laws left and right because the last time i checked the house of representatives has to approve a, a, any kind of potential bill then it goes to the senate and they have to approve it before the president even gets to sign it and last time i checked in the House of Representatives and in the Senate, there are both Democrats and Republicans. So it is not one person that's the problem. It is a corrupt system. Now let me also explain to people, I love America. I love the United States of America Corporation, even with all the things I know about it. But that doesn't mean I have to like a corrupt system run by corrupt, greedy, and evil people. But let's make no mistake, the president is nothing more than the top puppet. And that's all he is, that's all any president is, because it's not presidents that run the country. Presidents only run corporations. So you might want to look into the fact that the United States of America went bankrupt in 1933 and actually became a corporation. Which You wonder why these presidents and these vice presidents and these senators and all these politicians get away with all the things they do? Well, like I've made in my previous videos, if you look at the one about the gold trim around the flag, that's an actual symbol that indicates that anywhere you see a flag with a gold symbol, it is maritime law. It is actually a military flag, which means the Constitution doesn't apply. Not the way you think it does. So it's not presidents that rule. It's money that rules. It's the bankers. It's the Federal Reserve. It's the top 1% of the top 1%. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, people of that area. Because let me tell you something. If you want a law passed, or if you want a law blocked... Or if you want something under the table that people won't know about, you pay enough money, it gets done. So what that's telling you is, it's not the people, it's not the mayors, the senators, 
the governors, the presidents. It's the people giving them their donations that make and break the rule. Like a famous Rothschild once said, and I don't have his first name, but it's really irrelevant. They said, and I quote, Give me control of a nation's currency, and I care not who makes her laws. What that says is, money is what controls, not presidents. So I understand people are angry, but unfortunately the majority of people out there don't research and don't learn what's really going on. And they base everything on emotion and fear. So when you see things like the president actually saying how they try and justify these illegal phone taps that they've been doing. Now keep in mind, for the past seven years, so this has going, been going on since George Bush. So as bad as Obama is, he didn't start it. But I'm not trying to justify it either. But they had illegally con recorded the phone conversations of millions of Americans. And the president tried to justify it by saying, well, you know, we need it to fight terrorism. Well, terrorism is an infinite excuse to do whatever you want. And it's all about control using fear. And the masses fall for it hook, line, and sinker every time. But it doesn't matter if we impeach this president or the next 100 presidents. There will always be another puppet that goes in line and does what they're told. So until we fix the corrupt system, things are not going to change. We have to stop being so ignorant. We have to stop pointing the fingers at one person. Because while we're blaming the president, which is pretty much his, his job is to be a sock puppet and absorb all the blows from all the people. So while everybody's yelling and pointing their fingers at Obama or George Bush or, you know, Reagan or Carter or, you know, Nixon or whoever, the real power, the people that control the money who pay the politicians to do whatever they tell them to, are getting away with literal murder. So until we realize who's really in control and who's really in power, it doesn't matter who's president. It doesn't matter who we impeach. It doesn't matter who's coming in to save the day. That's why I always said, and as much as I liked Ron Paul, Ron Paul, even if he became president, would have ended up the same way. Because they get rid of presidents, like John F. Kennedy, for example, like Abraham Lincoln, for example, and others, that actually try and go against the system, the control, the Federal Reserve, the Vatican, the real owners. And if you think that's crazy, that just means you haven't looked into it. And I understand when somebody hears things like that, oh, what does the Vatican have to do with it? Well, you'll never know until you research it. So if you want to automatically dismiss something because it doesn't sound right, well, guess what? The tell of vision has good control over you. And they've gotten you to automatically dismiss something that could actually expose them if only you'd take the time to research it. But instead, you'll automatically dismiss things. And that's why a lot of things in the world go on unnoticed and unchallenged. And we point our fingers when we're angry at the wrong people, not realizing that we need to research. We need to question things. We need to put a stop to the whole system. I mean, why do you think our sim a symbolic bird, the symbolism of the bird, shows everything you need to know about the politics in our political system? You have an eagle with its wings spread wide. It looks like they're separate. But if you look, you have a left wing and a right wing. Sound familiar in government? Left wing, Democrat, right wing, Republican. Looks very far apart. But if you follow the wings inward, they lead to the same entity. So what they're telling you through symbolism, if people were to pay attention properly and look into things more deeply, they would show you that even though the wings are spread and it looks like they're on two different sides, they're connected to the same system. So whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, and on camera you put on a good show where you're both going at it with each other, you're connected to the same system. And that's why the all laws end up ultimately getting passed, so somebody like the puppet president, whoever he is, ultimately ends up signing them. Because it takes Democrats and Republicans to be able to have those bills get to the president to become law. Which means those people behind the scenes are being paid and told what to pass 
what to ignore, and what to secretly put in, like the Patriot Act, like the National Defense Authorization Act, which, by the way, was created New Year's Eve. So while everybody's drinking and partying and have a wonderful time, they're passing laws that can actually end Americans' lives, just being called a terrorist without proof. This is the country you want to have? We can all sit there and complain, or we can realize that if we point fingers in one direction, we're missing it out. It's like seeing one person, if you're in a castle, and you see one person charging you, and you just focus on that one person, and you look in the background, there's about another million people on their way. Well, you kill that one person, and guess what? You got a million more people coming to get you. So if you think by killing that one person that was the first one to walk up to the gate, you think you've just saved yourself? I wouldn't turn around if I were you. So hopefully this will really spread some information out. This is why even when I talk about things like sun gazing, as soon as people hear that word, they automatically say, wow, that's crazy, or wow, that's dumb, or wow, you're hurting yourself. Well, I've been doing it over a year. My vision has improved. My health has improved. I actually have become more relaxed. My mind actually works better. I can actually solve problems better. Emotionally, I'm more calm and relaxed, and yet people will automatically dismiss it because it sounds crazy. Well, shouldn't you research something first and check into it before you automatically dismiss something so you don't miss out on something that's utterly amazing? But that's how they get you. That's how they train you. That's how they use tell a vision to program you into respecting authority, even if a cop comes along and beats the living crap out of you. Well, they're doing it for your protection, so you shouldn't question it. Or when the president or some politician does some evil, corrupt thing. Or when somebody in the religious sector has sexual relations with a child. Shouldn't question it. Should just let it be. They're professionals. See how silly that sounds? Is it any wonder why we're so angry? Is it any wonder why we're waking up? Anyone wonder why the news media doesn't talk about it? Well, when you know that the media is owned by six corporations, they're bought and paid for. They don't go against their buddies. So you ever wonder why the media doesn't talk about this stuff? I mean, people are just hearing about this Verizon wireless phone tapping, and it's been going on for seven years. So do you like your freedoms being taken away from you? I sure don't, especially when I'm not privy to it, and they don't let us know about it. There's a reason why we have amendments to protect our freedoms, and they're being stolen. So if you want to be socialists, you want to be Nazis, you want to be communists, just let this continue to happen. Just sweep it under the rug. But make no mistake, if you point in only one direction, you're missing the whole picture. So we really need to wake up. Impeaching the president, no matter who it is, is not going to solve the problem. Until we realize where the corrupt system starts, and that's the money changers, it's never going to stop. Thanks for watching. Peace. And research some of the things I talked about. You might learn something.